on the Jacob Beer Show today. I'm so happy to be joined with Ben Percival. Say hi. How are we doing? And Thomas Wood. How is everyone? And um, we're not going to take up too much time, probably about 10 minutes. Um, so would you like to introduce yourself before we get started, guys? I will start with Thomas. What's up, guys? My name is Thomas. I'm a senior here at New Palestine High School. Uh, I played football, and uh, I'm a member of the B&T Eats community. And next, I'll introduce Ben. Hello, um, Ben Firstful, 18 years old, a senior here at New Palestine High School. Uh, also played football and plan to go to Hanover College next year to continue my academic and athletic career. So, um, of course, you guys run B&Ts, which we'll talk about in a couple minutes. But let's just first start out by saying, what is the best and worst memory of high school so far? Uh, I'll start with Ben this time on this. Um, probably the best memory was in the first round of sectionals. Uh, we had just beat Mount Vernon for the second time to end their season, which is a very proud moment. Of course. And what about for you? Mm. Maybe don't breathe this loud in the microphone. <laughs> I'd probably say uh, beating Westfield for me. Uh, we weren't really um, favored to win that game, and we came out gung-ho and whip their ass and i uh the week before might have said something so <laughs> y'all proved a lot of people wrong um i always knew that we were going to win to say the least um i always knew it so uh, <laughs> i i called that upset happening although i don't think it was an upset really but some people might so let's get into questions um something you guys are very educational on this um who should be the next president? Should it be somebody like Donald Trump again, Ron DeSantis? Were you like Joe Biden, riding with Biden 2024? Or should it be, I don't know, Michelle Obama? What do you kind of think, Thomas? Um, With the, the way it's looking now, I mean, I'm going to vote for Trump. I think it's going to be Trump and Biden again in a showdown. But uh, ideally, I think it should be someone that's in the middle. Um, I think a lot of Americans side with the gray area on certain policies and don't necessarily think red or blue, but they realize that there are certain circumstances and things like that to take into account when arguing or debating on a topic. Um, so I think ideally it would be someone like that, but I think it's going to be Biden, Trump again, and I'm going for Trump. Interesting. And um, what about you, Ben Percival? I'm going to side with Thomas on this one. Um, I think it's going to be Trump, Biden again. I favor Trump, but currently right now in the media, he's not the most liked guy. But I'm sticking by his side. I like his ideals. I think he makes – I think he made very smart choices as a president. Interesting. And and I'm just going to say I'm not normally supposed to really talk as the host. I'm on the DeSantis bandwagon, and that can be out there publicly. Um, I don't think Trump can win again. I think he did win in 2016. I think he might have won in 2020 legitimately, but I don't think he could win again in 2024. You can't run somebody three times in a row. Three strikes and you're out, buddy. So so let's kind of talk about you guys also host B&T Eats on TikTok. Um, talk me a little through what is the best meal that you've had and the worst so far. And uh, you don't have to put out restaurant names unless you want best meal we had um i'm a big sushi guy so probably with tommy um i can just chow down on some sushi what about you uh, i feel like it's gonna be different i like with tommy as well but i've been there previously um bubba's 33 was pretty good and it was kind of cheap um the worst experience i had honestly was harry and izzy's um the food was all right but our waitress was not very welcoming and nice, but um, yeah, probably Bubba's 33 is a close second, but with Tommy's my favorite as well. Interesting. And um, I just have a couple other questions. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? And then you don't have to go into the arguments behind it because there's a billion arguments. Just quick little who you think it is person-wise. Hmm. I I both don't love those guys. They're both the reason why the Pacers don't have a ring. Um, LeBron with the Heat upset the Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, it's not happy then. And back in the Reggie Miller days, Jordan was up there whooping our ass. So um, 
between the two, I'm going with LeBron. LeBron. Okay. Okay. What about you? I'm going with Michael Jordan. Um, never lost in the finals. Um, and not just the way he played. I think just his mentality. He was nastier than LeBron. Um, I don't think Michael Jordan's the goat of basketball. I think he's the goat of all competitive sports. Interesting. Um, let's see. Another question. Who is going to win? Who do you guys think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? I asked Coach Roth this question. He said the Bills are looking really stacked. Um, a guy by the name of Mr. Story, who's a teacher at our school, also thinks fairly highly of the Bills. Shout out to uh, – um, what's the class called? Oops. World War II. Everybody should be taking that class if you go to New Palestine High School. Hopefully didn't make it this far in that episode to hear that. Um, but who do you think? I think the Super Bowl next year, although I want it to be the Colts, they're just too young right now. I think it's going to be Chiefs and Eagles again, and I'm going with Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, baby. I think the Eagles are going to be five in uh... – how many games do they play now? 18, five, I think. Five and, 12. five and 12. Yeah. What about you? I feel like you're going to be the uh, Las Vegas Raiders guy. I actually think the Jets are going to be really good this year. Um, Their defense is suffocating, and now they have a quarterback to lead their offense at the helm. I think their coach is really, really good. Defensive minded, puts a lot of pressure on people. And you can't just sit back in coverage in this league. You got to put pressure on people. So I think the Jets are going to be really good this year. Interesting take, interesting take. Um, so just two other questions I have before we go into the future plans. Um, let's see, is there anything else you guys, can you guys think of any questions? And I'll ask both of you, maybe one that you guys haven't asked each other yet. You got one, Tom? Or no? <laughs> if not, it's okay. What about you, Ben? I think Purdue is going to be successful next year in basketball. You think Purdue is going to be successful? Oh, no, do you? Um. Well, I'm going to Purdue. Hopefully, I'll make it that far passing the first semester to see some of that action. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, hopefully. Um, I would say, honestly, I think they're going to be a 10-loss team next year, 11, which, I mean, they'll probably get – knowing Purdue, they'll probably get them into their first four. I think the Big Ten is going to be even worse next year. Um, a team to look for is St. John's, Rick Patino. The former Louisville coach got fired for doing a lot of weird stuff. He's a champion who's won twice, Kentucky and at Louisville. So uh, if you're a St. John's fan, which I actually kind of root for St. John's as my Big East team over Bubbler, St. John's might make a Sweet 16 or around the 32 game next year. So when you see that team on there, they're not a small school. They played in the Big East, the same conference as UConn and Villanova. So um, I know that's kind of a little snide note from that, but St. John's, it's going to be the team to look out for next year, but I think Purdue will be mediocre as an 11th seed or something. I think UConn is going to be good again. They really didn't graduate anyone. Um, and then IU, I hate to say it, but IU's been making pretty good headlines in the recruiting. Ian Stevens, if he's listened this far, uh, very good recruit. So um, I look forward to seeing him on that floor in the years to come. So for sure. Um, what do you kind of make of that? Do you think IU will be good? Um, I mean, both IU and Purdue are always going to be good. They're top basketball schools in the nation, but I think IU is going to go two and zero against Purdue next year. And I got another question. You think? Do you see Edie returning to Purdue, or do you think he's going to get drafted? Ooh, um, I would say, you know, honestly, I think he's going to get drafted very late. He'll be like that. He's like he's going to be like Stetson Bennett, you know. Probably honestly underrated, but doesn't get drafted as high as people think because of the odd techniques with him, kind of like with Stetson Bennett. Did you see Stetson Bennett has been at Georgia for six years and doesn't have a degree? I didn't know that. He didn't graduate? I saw that yesterday. There's no record of him graduating. He was there for six years. Wow. Uh, wow. That's – that's. <laughs> there's somebody at Oregon who's been there for nine years. <laughs> I can't think of his name. I just saw it last fall or seven years, seven, not nine, That's which you had COVID sophomore year, or red, red shirt year and then an injury year. So that's how you then get your other four years. So yeah, yeah interesting stuff. Um, kind of a last question to close on before we go into what you two are up to after high school. Um, 
what is something you wish would be different about high school? And I think this is a big question for all the high schoolers who listen to this or incoming high schoolers. What do you think should be different about high school? Do you think it should be maybe like phone policies in some classes or or what would you say, Ben? Uh, dang. Um, should it make our school better or just high school in general? High school in general. High school in general. Um, I think it would make high school better in general. Probably be more like one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, like getting to know your teacher, teachers getting to know their students. So like you, Mr. So you, Story. Like Mr. Story. So having that personal connection with your teachers, I feel like would just help students and teachers grow together. Yeah, for sure. There will be some teachers I missed and, and or will miss. And, you know, I can contest to that because I've had it at my open house. So, yeah. What about you, Tom? I think everyone should be forced to do something after school, extracurricular involved, uh, something to do with the team, interact with other people, make friends, you know, stuff like that. Get some ready for life better. For sure. And I think it's... At this point in time, you just think you have all your life to live or all your high school life to live. Uh, I'll tell you, every day raced by quicker. It really did. Like, it just, it went quicker. So, yeah. Um, I will say I think a great sport is cross country to get involved with. I know some people might be like, uh, football, you know. Um, if you're not maybe um, very tall, I'll say, Um Cross country, what people think is it's you're running in the seat and you're suffering. And although that is true, um, there's a lot of fun memories. I can tell you when we were underneath the tent, when the girls were running, probably should have been cheering them on more. We might have been doing raps, freestyling. So Potentially. Yeah, potentially, not for sure. So it's not just running. And it's for like any sport. Of course, when you're actually doing the work, like if you're doing line drills, that, that's probably frustrating and, and sucks at practice sometimes. No different when you're running around the track or in the woods when it's nine degrees. But like also running and it's not as bad as people think it is. It really isn't. And uh yeah, it's not it's not as bad. I'm not saying to do cross country, but if if you can't do soccer, um it's a great sport. You don't need to have billions of dollars for equipment. It's kinda like basketball. All you need is shoes. They don't have to be Jordans, it might help, but yeah, you could technically run barefoot. That's not actually legal. So it's a not as an expensive sport. So it's not like lacrosse where you got to pay a lot of money um, or football padding and stuff. So very interesting sport. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to say before we go into our closing question or really what's next for you guys, as I should say, sorry, this is my second interview of the day. So maybe not as fresh as I was this morning. There I got you. Oh. Let's get back to like being on a team and stuff. Um, Football is a great sport, but it's just not for everybody. Um, the hours and the time commitment, it's just it's very struggling mentally and physically. But um, cross country is a great way. I'm obviously not a great runner, so I can't speak on the sport, but I'm glad that you found that as a way to, like, get some camaraderie and uh, have that feeling of, like, belonging. For sure, for sure. Anything else you want to say before, or I'll start with you on what your future plans are after graduation? Sure. So um, what are you doing after graduation? You've been a pretty good football player. Um, are you continuing football? Are you not continuing football? Uh, I'm not playing football in college. I had some opportunities, had some scholarship offers, but I decided not to play football. It wasn't as fun as it used to be. Um Thought I was disrespected in recruiting, which is fine. Stuff happens. But I'm going to trade school after college or after high school. And So uh, you are going to college. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trade school after high school. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. Interesting. I just noticed Thomas wasn't fully in the camera, but uh, wave in case nobody fully got to see you. See, we're good now. Um, anything else? I know you had mentioned you'll be playing football next year. Um, we have another kid at our school playing in baseball and then football. So take it away for what's kind of going on with you. Yeah, so um, I got looked at from a couple schools, but, like, I went and visited Hanover. My mom went there, so then it kind of just felt like the right place to go. And I could see myself playing on that team with those guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to just have the boys back, uh, Ian Radebush and Ben Morwick. Excited to go to school with them next year. 
But then, um, honestly, um, I didn't know if I wanted to or not. Uh, I kind of had applied to Butler, got a good deal there. But I think it was kind of best for me to What's go to football Hanover. At Butler? No, not football at Butler. If I decide not to take the uh, sports route. But, yes, I'm very excited next year. Got the coaches for being there. Shout out Coach Burton and Coach Smith. But, yeah. And Coach Ralph. And Coach Ralph, yep. Um, I'm ready to roll with the Panthers, baby. Let's go. Awesome. Well, I might have had a Franklin T-shirt on in gym class because they gave it to me for free. Not really free when you have to apply, but, yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys joining the Jacob Buer show today. Um, Man, uh, who knows if I'll ever sit down like this again with a lot of people after – um, the coming weeks at New Palestine High School, but it has been a privilege to have you guys in class and all the fun discussions that we have. So uh, too bad, probably a lot of these listeners were not in the classes that we had together, but they right. were fun times. So sure. gotcha. well, I appreciate you guys coming on the Jacob Beer Show today. Yeah, thanks for having us, Jacob.